Welcome back, everybody. Folks, like many of you, I stayed up late last night to watch the fourth GOP debate from Wisconsin. The talkie in Milwaukee. The very bland from Dairyland. And like the candidates last night, I have a random collection of half-informed thoughts I want to share with you. First up... First up, all the candidates decried wasteful government spending last night, but nobody spoke out against it more passionately than Senator Ted Cruz, who got very specific about what programs and departments he would cut. Five major agencies that I would eliminate. The IRS, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Energy, uh, the Department of Commerce, and HUD. I'm with Senator Cruz here. I mean, two Departments of Commerce? That is wasteful. We don't need both of those. Shame on you, White House. You too, other White House. I'm sure there's two of those, too. And Donald Trump doubled down on his plan to deport 12 million undocumented immigrants, citing the historical precedent set by someone who considers a great leader. And here's the shocker. It's not Donald Trump. Let me just tell you that Dwight Eisenhower, good president, great president, people liked him. I like Ike, right? The expression, I like Ike. Moved a million and a half illegal immigrants out of this country. Moved them just beyond the border, they came back. Moved them again beyond the border, they came back. Didn't like it. Moved them way south, they never came back. <laughs> Dwight Eisenhower. You don't get nicer, you don't get friendlier. Trump is right. Eisenhower deported over one million illegal immigrants back in the 1950s, and it must have worked because Mexicans were never seen here again. <laughs> Now, I did some research. I did some research, and Trump is right. Eisenhower did deport over a million Mexicans. It was a little program the United States government actually called Operation Wetback. So, you might want to update that button to, I like Ike with significant reservations. <laughs> but, when it came to foreign policy, Trump showed why he has an edge over the other candidates. As far as Syria, I like if... Putin wants to go in, and I got to know him very well because we were both on 60 Minutes. We were stable mates, and we did very well that night. Now, I'm not sure why Trump called the two of them stable mates. <laughs> it's, it's either a metaphor for their powerful friendship, or Donald Trump doesn't know which one of these things is Vladimir Putin. <laughs> the on top. It's the one on top. The one on top. And one of the most talked about moments of the night came from Florida Senator and Tampa's number one realtor of 2013, <laughs> Marco Rubio. For the life of me, I don't know why we have stigmatized vocational education. Welders make more money than philosophers. We need more welders and less philosophers. You know what? It is an interesting point. It really, really makes you weld. <laughs> Unfortunately... <laughs> Fortunately, it turns out... It turns out that Rubio was wrong, because philosophy majors actually make way more than welders. <laughs> which, of course, explains Descartes' famous quote, I think, therefore, I make it rain up in this biatch. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, obviously. So, all in all, you did not miss much last night. It was kind of like watching paint dry without the added benefit of being able to huff the fumes.